Welcome to Comfort Time with Aunt Unique, where we share testimony stories. We have very special guests today, and I say guests because normally you only have one guest, but today we have two. We have Mr. and Mrs. Nyoni, dear family friends from Roma. They just celebrated their 64 years in marriage, 64 in marriage. So we just had to call them to share with us the secret because this is not something that you hear of often. Mr. and Mrs. Nyoni, welcome to Comfort Time. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, so we saw you on Facebook. I don't know if it was even you, but I'm sure it's <laughs> some other people who were celebrating you. And uh, we know you had a powerful party for yourselves. So uh, celebrating 64 years, this is something that is rarely heard of. So we wanted to celebrate with you. Congratulations to start with. Thank you very Thank much. You. Well done. Thank you. And we felt that uh, we needed to find out what your secret is because I know there are many couples out there who would also want to celebrate this sometime in the future. <laughs> How did you do it? What is the secret? Can you do, anyone can answer? <laughs> so to uh, uh, there is no secret. Okay. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> we got married mm -hmm. and decided to stick. Okay. How did you meet? That's a very interesting question. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> please share if it's okay, if you're okay with that. We never met. Oh, mm -hmm. okay, okay, please, please share. <laughs> we saw each other mm. for the first time ever. Yes. On a Thursday. Uh. Afternoon when the bus came to bring her to Lusaka. Oh. And uh, I yeah. went to Kamala. I to await that bus and she was on it. How I came to know it was her is because my sister-in-law, the wife of my elder sister, mm -hmm. came out of the bus. Then okay. my young sister mm -hmm. came out of the bus and there was another girl there. Wow! <laughs> I said it must be her. Huh? Oh wow! Then I went and hugged her. Oh wow! <laughs> Just like that! Wow! Thursday afternoon, then came Friday and the Saturday. Sunday we were married there at the Kirenge Regiment Church, which is also called the uh, St. Uh, Charles Rwanga. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now 64 years. Wow! <laughs> Okay, so you didn't even court. So people are saying, no, first you must court and experience each other and see if it can work. If it doesn't work, you split up. And you never even courted. No. Wow. Uh, to me, mm. the elder brother mm. used to stay with my sister at Katete. Mm. So they were moving together coming to our house mm. or we go to their house mm. so this man one day he called me mm. said the, the wife came and says oh your mom wants to see you mm. to see me yes i went in now he says have, have you got a somebody who wants to get married to you said, no i'm a school girl mm. i'm still going to school mm. i'm doing my start at five mm. Next, this year I'm going to start at the six. Mm -hmm. Says, oh, okay. Then he, I went out. Mm -hmm. Later on, the other elder brother came. Mm -hmm. Says, ah, can you come out? I want to take you a picture. Oh, oh okay. They took me a picture. Yeah. Then not, not knowing that that picture, where is it going? Oh, it was my coming God, to great. him. <laughs> It was coming wow. to him to see the girl because they were talking in their family to say, no, 
that man must come and bury Kuno Kumkwaso. So wow. that picture came to him. Uh, then my elder sister was saying, You yes, saw, I wanted to stop school. You don't want to go ahead. I said, Me, I want school. Mm. But these two brothers, they were on me to say, No, we want to marry you. Uh -uh. You can go to Lusaka and you can start and school. Uh, you, you continue uh, school. Just because you're so beautiful <laughs> that you want to bypass such a beautiful hey. girl. Uh, That's how so I. So, when's the way Hey, I like a school. Huh. The school fees was already sent and then uh, it came back because of him. Because you did, <laughs> some people have jumped on the bandwagon and taken you away. Yes. Okay, wow. <laughs> That's okay. how I came to Lusaka. Now the elder sister, mm -hmm. the, the, the mlam to him, mm -hmm. was saying, no, we have a judge. What is Vomera? I want to put a man in here. Okay. You go and not name from the house. Ah, ah. The man, the man, the person who is a young man, the young man who is a good man. And he's a good man. Okay. So when I saw the brother, he's tall, brown. So I was thinking that's how he looks. You also know that. But when I came here, just this short man is coming. Eh. He oh saw me, God. then he, he hugged me, and I mm. said, yeah. Okay. Then he said, okay. So me, I'm short and he's short, our children will be he's short. He's short, yes. Okay. But it worked out because he, we arranged it from our church to this church, Shirenji. Mm -hmm. They were announcing for three weeks. Ah, eh? Oh, yeah, in the Catholic then after, church. You yes. Can't just then get after married. that, I came. Then okay. that's how we got married. But uh, it was a nice arrangement. Mm -hmm. uh, the other mlam was staying in Shirenji, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Kaluru. Mm -hmm. Just to find that people are busy. Make mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Hey. And there was this lady, the other day, they came and he just came to Kuninyamura, Kunipere hey. Just imagine. They were so excited. They were so excited. Wow. Then later on, we started our preparations okay. through his working people. Uh, yeah. Hey, Nenzina Dab, Wakuti, you just came and then they, you were able to get married. Because in the Catholic Church, you know, it has to be announced for three months. Yes. So when we chit la two when you can announce you can you know it. Ah hey, okay, hey. that's why there's a bit chitik. Yeah, yeah. We go on that one also. Yeah. First of all, I, I to say that she was sixteen. Wow, under age. I was twenty-four. Wow, so they could have put you in jail. You are yes. not supposed to marry yeah. until after age. <laughs> no, in those days, days, days it was not too much. Okay. okay. Yeah, to, today, your mother been I was sure you are going to be locked up. Yeah, of Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, yeah. wow. Because I was 16 in July. Then uh, in November, I get married. Then yeah, I got married wow. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, yeah. So how did you feel? Were you happy? I had to be happy because even if I wanted to school, but yes. later on, I had to start my night school. Okay. Yeah. I oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was nice that at least you still <laughs> were able to continue with school. So he was really a nice man because I know other men were not going to accept that you continue with school. So for him no, to... I, I am the one who wanted insisted. her to lift her to my uh, standard. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Listen uh, now, you, you were working class. Yes. So, <laughs> ah, working. That's another thing. I mean, when she came uh, from the province, it wasn't absolutely, you know, up to standard. But mm. I said, no, this is for water and the soap. Okay, well, yeah, so, okay. oh, wow, you, love, yeah. you must have loved her then to want to polish her up for yourself. Uh, yes, I did. And she is a natural beauty, so I'm sure that didn't <laughs> take much. <laughs> and uh, on a Sunday, I went to church. 
she was not with me because she was in the woodlands and I, mm. I waited there for a long time. <laughs> she didn't come. When, when they brought her, uh, they expected somebody, uh, perhaps an uncle or a brother to take her or the parents to mm. take her to the mm. husband. Mm. There was nobody. Oh dear. So my immediate boss is the one wow. who looked at her. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. The one called He's the one who took her to me and then mass started. Wow. Yeah. It was how it was in those days. The marriages took place here. Oh, during mass. <coughs> yeah. Mass, okay. yeah. Even as she came, as she was coming, and I knew there was going to be this wedding, I had only thought about my dress. So I, I had a suit. Mm. I didn't get. Uh, I didn't care what she was going to wear. Wow, imagine <laughs> men. <laughs> men, men, men. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, but things changed so suddenly when she came. She was uh, in a beautiful dress wow. and the two small kids. Uh, flower yeah, the flower girl. girls. Yes, yes, yes. Sweet. <laughs> yeah. And wow. uh, one of the women came, there were men and women, eh? yes. and more women, yes. they came uh, and put a flower here on my jacket. Okay, church. bridegroom. <laughs> yeah. And uh, then it came the time of the uh, ring. Uh, I hadn't even thought of it. What? <laughs> and you were marrying someone's daughter? Imagine that! You should have dumped him no. at the altar and said, no ring, no marriage. Oh. Yeah, well, this is Father Chikoti, Italian, Father Chikoti. Mm. Uh, ring. Uh, so yes, what are you talking about? A lady came from, the, you know, from behind. The crowd, yes. Removed her ring. Her own ring. Her oh, own ring. So gave her to me and I gave her. Oh, I gave it to her. so sweet. Sweet, That's imagine. Just imagine. So you got married on a borrowed ring, and you said so yeah. long, it and was, we will insist on our own ring. And it was a golden ring. Wow! It was, yeah. it was a golden ring. Wow! It inscribed so inside sweet. McCabe. She was the uh, Mrs. McCabe. It was inscribed in there. But she, so I gave it to her, the marriage took place and so forth, but she's lost it. <gasps> not not the, the marriage at all. <laughs> no, no, the ring. Yeah, yeah. Who lost it now? She lost it. <gasps> I lost it when we came to Roma now, after so many years. Oh, she said you could keep it for good. I thought oh, maybe yes, it was yes, just it for was, the... You know, no, they gave no, it to, I they thought it was just for the function. Uh, no, 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 no. It was ah, hers. Yes. It was wow. mine. Wow, but how uh, did you lose it? I was rushing for the fate at Roma Church from the house where we are. Mm -hmm. So passing through Mangazi mm -hmm. house, mm -hmm. that's where it went it's, off. I couldn't oh, see it. Oh, shame. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah just... so um, well, we, uh, uh, I had a struggle to get a house. You know, forget. And uh, that, that that time, everything was in the hands of white people, mm. and uh, I really shook them for a house. Everybody knew this. There's a young man who was, who was getting married. Mm -hmm. They gave me a house four days before I got married. Wow! Mm. Yeah, and it was, it was a grass thatched house. What grass? Grass thatched house in Chirang. <laughs> okay. That's how we do it. Some. <laughs> Some had uh, tiles, but yes. a number of them had you know tiles. Okay. Were yes. mm -hmm. At least it was your own house. But where did you stay before she came? Where were you staying? How come uh, you didn't have a house? Yeah, I was a single man, so there were arrangements for single people. Ah, and okay, okay. There were four people, four people in a house. Ah, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, wow. We got married, and we decided to stick. Perhaps that yeah. answer, answers your question. Yeah, to, yeah. The, as you <laughs> vowed yes. in vowed sickness and yeah. health yeah. that you did do yeah. as part, yeah. you really meant it. <laughs> wow. Accepted that I am a married person. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's all. There's nothing strange, there's nothing peculiar about it.
And the other thing is that all of them in Chilean, they were saying this is the first wedding we have seen with a, a white Boy dress. wedding dress. Yes. So in the Atizungu. Yes, the Atizungu. Yeah, and there were and then, all not vehicles. Only that, all and vehicles. The, the church was full of white people from the department. Wow. Yes. It was at that time it was at the height of the independent of the struggle for independence. Yes. White people and black people didn't see eye to eye. <laughs> and yet happened. they were there fighting were there for you, us. celebrating yes. you. Yeah. yeah. That was very nice. And, uh, after that they donated a lot of good things to her. Mm. Dresses, my ties, powders, including mm. lipstick. <laughs> <laughs> She looked just like them. My friends oh, were wow. very jealous about it. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, That's but okay. Um, you need to, I know you say you just made a decision and uh, that was it. Mm -hmm. Isn't there something else, like in a marriage, we were just talking about polygamy. Mm -hmm. And um, in fact, before we go to polygamy, I wanted to touch on the issue of Lobola. We we're discussing Lobola. Oh. How did that happen? And what are your thoughts? Because there are people who are saying no, people are charging too much for Lobola, so they need to scrap it. So, what are your thoughts on that? Should Lobola be there, or should people reduce on the amounts, or should it be scrapped? They should reduce it. Just yeah, reduce it. You know, these are traditional because, things. Because when I was when they were when I was still at home before I came, mm -hmm. uh, their family came to my village and they paid twenty four pounds in those days. Mm -hmm. It was twenty four pounds, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how yeah, I came here. Okay. I don't know. I don't think that uh, they paid. Uh, we should uh, go away and follow strictly the new life which has been brought by the uh, white people. They have their own traditions, and we as Africans have got our own traditions. Mm -hmm. I think uh, there must be some. What do you call it now? You see, the, the man <coughs> is thanking the parents for producing something that is good to him. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's also a commitment. Mm -hmm. It's a show of commitment. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. It has been spoiled now because of love of money mm. uh, people want to make money out mm. of it yes yeah. it should not be like that originally in fact it was something else perhaps a, just a chicken mm. or mukanda mm. Mm. Uh, that's, a, that's how it was yeah mm. but that is a tradition it's a, it's a bondage mm. of, of marriage okay so what you're saying is that we must talk about it being reduced and not being um, not taking advantage and uh, yeah. charging so much because mm. now there are people charging 50 60 thousand <laughs> for <laughs> over. and you know some people are failing to marry some are actually scared they want to marry but they're saying where will i get the money to pay yeah. because families are asking for so much mm -hmm. so uh, there's need for us then to talk about reducing the amount or what can we do to help to show them that this is just supposed to be our tradition but it's not supposed to be like we are selling someone because what's happening now is that when someone pays 60,000 for your child when she goes to that house that man says Nadi Kushita Shouldn't 
So you know, it's a situation where the child comes, is crying because she's not happy, and you people have eaten sixty thousand of someone's money. They are not able to pay it back, and because you can't pay back, you tell her just go and suffer our daughters. We've already chewed that money. We can't pay it back for you to come back to us. So now it's like you've sold her into slavery. That's why they're yeah, even shooting one another. It's mm -hmm. most unfortunate mm. that the things have gone that way. Yes, it is like that. Uh, but uh, uh, if you find something that you like mm -hmm. and uh, you are asked, in, in Kenya, Mm -hmm. In Kenya, the Maasai's, mm -hmm. when you go to the parents uh, to ask for a hand of their daughter in marriage, mm -hmm. they will want you to bring to, to, to bring a hoof of a lion. Oh! <laughs> and it must be fresh. Mm -hmm. oh, wow! Yes. So you're supposed to go and kill a lion? Yes. It's you. You, you know, you want, you must show, and they that do, you can they protect do it. Yes. Your, their child. Yes, you can protect your your wife. <laughs> your, okay, your, your wife, wife now. Yes. Okay. You know, I mean, uh, and uh, it's uh, I think there's pride uh, in a normal sense uh, for some uh, a wife, a husband, to show love. Mm -hmm. uh, not one love which is, I mean, thing that is for est by mm. the hunger of money, no, mm. but from you as a husband, because now you find a new life and you are so happy, mm. so you can do anything to mm. show to them that you are happy and, uh, uh, you know, uh, whatever they ask, I can give it to them, but not to the extent, as you put it, that you you limit his uh, desires of two people who want to get married just because of money. Mm. No, it should not be like that. Okay, so um, you don't have to court to last that long in marriage. <laughs> you can just meet, get married and uh, live happily ever after. Yes, you have, like to, you have, to, you have no, to be happy. No, no, I think you know, this is what I've been explaining about the, what happened to us is extraordinary. Mm. Yeah, I think it's, it's a good thing to know each other. Mm. Uh, you must know what sort of person you are going you to go in for. Mm. You know, I mean, it, but for you, your family found out, so you trusted your family, so it's yeah. not like you just met her from without, they were able to assure you of the, her character my, and her family's character. My father told me, they said, <laughs> when, you, when you find a girl, mm -hmm. tell us the parents, mm -hmm. tell us the grandparents, mm -hmm. tell us the parents. Mm -hmm. We might know something even about the village, mm -hmm. you know, oh, you yeah. might have oh, a reputation yeah. of being oh, a, yeah. people uh, from a, that village yes. are like this. You've got mm -hmm. sicknesses or less, yes, uh, yes. You know, the whole village can be yes. uh, less uh, people, you know, okay. or uh, it, it might have a, a bad reputation of women drinking mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all sorts of things. That's what my father said, and that's what made me. Mm -hmm go uh, be happy with her mm -hmm. yeah uh, because my my parents knew the pa her parents okay yeah so if you <laughs> found <laughs> someone here and they said no we, we've heard this about those people don't marry her but you love her well if you are a good a good child of uh, to, you know you must listen to what your parents say okay yes Wow, this is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. So, so Sati Balom by Vokta Tiai, Matelito, Hey, Machin. Then the girl must find everything in the house. Hey. No. 
But my husband, I found him with the me panda and Mm. He was preparing okay. for it. He was married. So, I in those days, the house which we had, the kitchen was a kumbuya wa nyumba. Okay. Kutola unga mwanda ulumbula yolo koku. Ulute mpaka kwa pikile kuonja. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think of people who are thinking of uh, polygamy? They are saying that Wazmai, Wapaka, so funi kawana lume wapomeleje kutia kuwa wakolo ngola wanyi nji kutia kia se muna kaza konka na muna lume. Kolo muntu wali nana nana kaza nji nji. What we know is that the chiefs Mm. They didn't have one wife, they had more wives, mm. the chiefs, mm. yes. Mm. Uh, it's a, it was a tradition. Mm. Uh, uh, but you, if you go to the scripture, mm. God created Adam and later Eve. Mm. Mm. And uh, uh, I think that is how God wanted it. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The question was answered by Jesus uh, uh, about about polygamy. Mm. He says he, Moses allowed you to divorce a wife simply because you were hard hearted. Yes, yes. yes. Mm. Uh, it's not. It's not. Uh, uh, it's not idea. what yeah. was supposed to be happening. But that is biblical. The man is supposed to be the head of the family mm -hmm. and that's why we are told uh, that you submit to a man yeah but they read just half of that uh, this because we submit to a man as women as to your what your husband not even a man because if i say a man you might think it's any man no yeah. you don't submit to just any man no you submit to your yeah. husband right. but the husband must love the wife mm -hmm. the way jesus loved the church yeah. jesus died for the church mm -hmm. so if my husband loves me that much that is ready to die for me submission is nothing because what would stop me submitting to a man who loves me like that so it's not right that the man is any special the man is supposed to love the way jesus loved the church yeah. and then the woman will have no problems submitting yes is the head is supposed to be the head of the family to lead the family mm. but that does not mean he must trample on the woman no they are they are a team <laughs> yeah <coughs> you are right yeah you know um um I didn't drink in my life. Okay. Yes. I didn't smoke. Okay. Yeah, there had been a time in the fifties and sixties mm. when people were chaining smokers. Mm. I was none of none of those. Okay. Yeah. So um if you don't uh, drink I think you can be expected to be a more sensible person to know what you are doing. Okay. Yeah, and that's why, and particularly these advancements which I have, that's why I mentioned that uh, she must have uh, enjoyed her life with me. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where I came to say the prosperity of a man is seen in the woman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So really, uh, I don't know whether she admits. She has admitted, she has but she wants you also to admit that even you, you enjoyed it with her because she was there supporting you she was there with you so even you benefited and also what is important to me that you said if we were not happy together yeah we were not going to be together you said if i was not happy 
she was going to be there i was going to be there right and that is cardinal yeah because i've seen people who are abused who are not happy but they stick because of society uh -huh. some end up going into depression and dying some you know uh kill the husband or the husband kills them so much as we want couples to celebrate 64 years in marriage we also acknowledge mm -hmm. that it's not everybody who yeah. have the grace mm -hmm. to have a relationship where they, they are able to live that long mm -hmm. that if you are in a situation where it's difficult mm -hmm. do not kill each other yeah yes well. it's better you go your separate ways you save your lives because the children suffer imagine you are so angry with each other we are not getting along you kill with the, the other mm. then you you go to prison mm. and then the children have no one yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so i thought when you said that i was thinking that is very cardinal it's something mm. that uh, even as we are encouraging everybody that they should be together it's, we should also accept that it's not everybody who has the grace to have such a fairy tale story. There are some who may wish for it but have not been able to have it because that is what life has thrown at us. Yeah, you know, there's no marriage which doesn't have ups and downs. Yes. Mm -hmm. But what I say is that you have to accept that you are a married person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, at the 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 at the wedding mm. at, at our wedding mm. in Chilean, mm. it's a woman who spoke at that wedding on your behalf or, or on, 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 on both of on you both of <laughs> yes one of the things she said this is mrs mccabe the one who gave her the the, the ring, the, ring. <laughs> the yeah. anger of the morning should not be left to set down with the sun okay and i have remembered this i have repeated this to the places where uh, to you talk. have taught yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah uh, but there's, there's it's an ordinary life actually every life has got ups and downs yes but you have to accept that you're a married person mm -hmm. yeah. what does it mean to be a married person what do you mean in your head when you say in my, accept in my that you're a married person <laughs> wherever i am whatever i do mm -hmm. i must accept that i'm a married you person. must remember yeah that I'm a married man, whatever therefore I must say, behave. You know, whatever yeah, I do, I must accept that I'm a married person. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, no, I'm very happy for this discussion. <laughs> Thank you so much for giving us the time and for celebrating with us your 64 years in marriage. <laughs> this is just awesome. Mm -hmm. So, congratulations. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. <laughs> for coming um, god bless you and we'll share this video to encourage so many other people to hear this love story i'm vana chimbosa those who wants to come and see me they can come Yes. Because I've taken children, children's people, about 50 or more than. Including my own. Your own children. My own child. <laughs> 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 so, <laughs> she's Vana Chimbosa. She took my daughter to, to her husband. But when you shall own 15 years ago. <laughs> yeah. So, my daughter is in a marriage. 15 years now, she is the one who Blessing was her. there. Yeah. She also come to 64 years. Yes, <laughs> so she's blessed her. So, come and go. I can't get this kiss. There was a match. There was a match. They announced. So, I don't know how to say it. I can't get this kiss. So, she's a Nachimbusa. So, if you want help, the both of them, actually, the man can go to him for help. The woman can go to her for help and for any so just be in touch with comfort time leave messages and i will make sure that i connect you to them so that um they are able to reach them this 
understand, Mrs. Nyoni. Thank you so much for coming to Comfort Time and sharing with us your beautiful story. It's going to encourage so many people. It's a blessing. We are blessed and we ask that God continues to bless you and to meet you at your every point of need. So, doesn't that sound like a fairy tale story? But it's real. It's real because they're here. You can see them. So, thank you very much for coming. This is a beautiful story. Let's try and share with our young ones so that they can emulate this kind of a story. So, thank you for time continues. Stay blessed. Give us a thumbs up so that many people can watch these stories and get helped. Stay blessed. See you in the next video.